it? <laughs> well, when there's an outbreak at school of Edlice, Melissa never has them because she just goes in the cage for an hour <laughs> and they just totally debug her. The children think the monkeys. I could move to the jungle freely. <laughs> in it. <laughs> yes. No, that's monkeys. Monkey-obsessed Dawn and Lee have spent the last two years raising eight monkeys along with their four kids in the Manchester home. You can have an ice cream in ten minutes. It's a bit cold for ice cream. Today, they're off to see how the professionals do it down at Chester Zoo. I think every kid wants a monkey. <laughs> and actually getting one when you're older, when you realise you've got it, it was just unbelievable and that's where it escalated from. Oh, Lee. It's climbing up. It's climbing up. Although Dawn loves her monkeys, she has reservations about keeping some primates in captivity. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> They're too big to be caged up with. I won't like our kids locked up in a cage, and that's what it looks like to them. I look in my monkey's eyes, and they're just inquisitive, and they look happy. These don't look happy. They might be happy, but they just don't look it to me. Babies are fine, look, they don't know different, but the older ones, they must have come from somewhere. They've seen the other side. Look at his face up there. There's Klaus' side eating here. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I don't stick a telly in there. It gives them something to do. Because they be able to watch it. They'll mess about with it at first and that, but then they'll get used to it. But Solid but surely they'll start watching it. Monkey Mad Jean has 77 animals in her house, along with Lodger Joe. Hiya, darlings. Are you alright? I know what you were waiting for. Yes, a yum yum bug. One for you. Oh, yes, that's good. I'll just keep you going while your breakfast comes. By and large, generally speaking, they don't make good pets. They're a wild animal, you know, they, they've come from the jungle, they're unpredictable. If there's something they don't like, they'll bite. They've quite sharp teeth, they have tempers, and you can only train them so far. People just say, oh, aren't they cute, and I'd love to dress it up and take it out. You can't do that. Now then, darling, I know, I know you know what's coming. Mummy's brought you a little treat. Oh, it's your favourite. Yes, gobble it up. Oh, the goody good gumdrops. Stitches gets a locust every day because that's how I get her medicine into her. And she doesn't even realise she's having it then. She adores locusts. And it doesn't matter what you put on them, she still enjoys them. Just like children, aren't you? That's a stringy, stretchy one, Stitches, isn't it? I don't know what bit that is, but it's very stretchy. Somebody stopped me in the street yesterday, <coughs> having heard of me, and said, Oh, do you keep orangutans? I've always wanted an orangutan. And I looked at him and I said, No, I don't. <laughs> and I don't think you would want one either, not in a backyard. <laughs> they have no idea. Uh, they've maybe been watching films or, you know, and just think, well, Oh, it'd be such fun. Clint Eastwood film made them popular, that well, Clyde. One. Yes, mm. yes. After searching the internet, Dawn's found out about Jean, her extensive collection and 25 years of monkey experience. Hiya. Hiya. Hello. Hello. How are I'm you? I'm Dawn and that's Lee. Hiya. 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 With no one to turn to when she has monkey problems, Dawn's keen to meet other keepers. I'll follow you. <laughs> yeah, I'll then. I've just seen these. Golden handed tamarinds. Oh, look. Oh, they are cool. Look at them. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. I like people who appreciate that. <laughs> this is where they play out, you see. That's their little inside. We got told never to put a conifer near them. With conifers in all the aviaries and nobody's died yet from one, so. Look, look in the window. window. And they come down the chute here. And oh, into the monkey in the window. That's their big enclosure there. The see, it's not an ISO. See, like it's this. like mm. if it was an ISO, we'd get here. Eh? To me, that's not an ISO. 
Is it? No. Watch and learn. Are you watching? <laughs> She'll open your fingers one at once till she finds them. Come on. Oh, look at that. You've done it again. Well, she's got the lot. <laughs> she's real taking the lot. She's not daft. She's a monkey. They're very clever, you know. Oh, that look is at her. We usually land the eye for quick growing. Keep trimming it off at the top. And then when it thickens up again, yeah. keep trimming it off at the same level to thicken it up form a canopy and then in summer they can rest on there and they can get benefit of sunshine. Yeah. Why don't you come when you can stay a bit longer? Oh, if you don't mind. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Come back. Don't go home, I'll talk. Come back. Not all. Come, back. <laughs> come back. If you're a monkey lover, you're welcome. Oh. Here. Come when you can stay. People wouldn't want to live like that, but the way she set it up, it's her life, and that's how she wants to live. And everything's built around all them pets. And she loves them. She really 110% loves them. She's got monkeys in every room. I've got kids, I could have monkeys in <laughs> uh... If you try and mix humans and monkeys, you get a lot of confusion. Very typically, we get phone calls from people who say, well, our, you know, our baby marmoset was ever so sweet, and we bought it a companion, and they were fine, but now they're attacking the children. Fundamentally, primates are wild animals. Humans have associated closely with them for thousands of years, but we have never domesticated them. Um, they're not like cats and dogs. They've not been bred for a life you know, with humans. And even those that are brought up with people still exhibit instinctive in, in wild behaviors. <laughs> is a massive responsibility. Both Dawn and Lee, and Jean and Joe, know they have to look to the future. Well, this, this Avery's gonna come out to it, where the end of the table is there, and then put a tree in this one, and put a tree in that one. This Avery will be just for one lot of monkeys, and that other Avery will be for the family, the big family, and that. It'll be better. A lot of people said to me, and a lot of people advised me, how many years are you going to have to have them? And you can't just get rid of them, they bond with you. And it's not as if I go out, I don't leave my kids, but don't, I don't go out for a drink or nothing, I just stay in with them. So I know I've got these to go, these will be here longer than my kids. Don't answer your back either. <laughs> the only problem uh, I see is now what will happen if it suddenly happened to us? Because we're both knocking on now. One person can't cope here on their own. So if all happened to either of us, then it's going to be damn hard work. I see it as a gradual process where I don't replace them until we get down to keep it to a manageable amount, you know, for as long as we can possibly walk about and look after them. I have no idea. How other people see me, except they think I'm slightly crazy, I'm sure. I'm fulfilling a dream. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm enjoying every minute of it. No good when you're sitting in the nursing home thinking, oh, I wish I'd done so-and-so with my life. I always wanted a monkey, but never got one. Well, I won't have that regret. I'll have done it. 